What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Halim. We back for another Jay's take. Thank y'all so much for everybody who watched the first one. You know, um, me and Tamika have been talking about getting to this for a while. I'm glad we were able to get started. So thank y'all. Um, last time we talked, we answered a question uh, from uh, uh, somebody who wrote into her and wanted to get some information about entrepreneurship. And they have multiple questions, so we just answered one last time, so we're gonna answer the second one today. So um, thank you, this person is gonna carry us to the first three weeks. <laughs> and of course, we always have something to add to I always as well. got something on my sleeve with questions for him. So it's cool. Um, again, thank you guys for supporting. You know, I won't starve, my first baby, and you won't starve, my second baby. Thank you guys just for supporting everything that we do. Thank you for supporting Tamika. Uh, how you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> doing real good. That's what's up. Thank you so much. But how, more importantly, how are you? Two-time author, Amazon best-selling author. Two-time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we, we I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm just ready to help the people. Yep. All right, so question number two. This is another question that came from our aspiring 18-year-old entrepreneur. Of course, the previous question was, what are some things she needed to know before she starts her business? And today's question is, what are some possible risks that I may take? I think risk is a, a very good question, good topic um, of discussion for today's Jay's Take. I mean, I think it's broad, though. You know, it's a very mm -hmm. broad question because, I mean, just taking just going into entrepreneurship is a risk. Mm -hmm. Um, again, it goes back to what we said the last time, um, if you watched the last show, I talked about mindset. Mm -hmm. um, as you go further into entrepreneurship, certain things you're not going to see as a risk. Mm -hmm. But well, one thing you're going to risk is finances, always. You know, a lot of people nowadays, especially with the social media um, being so prevalent, they think that they don't have to risk their finances. But yes, you got to put it on the line. Yeah. <laughs> you got to put the time on the line. Now, this person is 18 years old. so. You're not gonna be. You probably don't have to worry about risking spending time with your family and stuff right. like that. Right. But you can't. Another risk that you would take, and again, I don't look at it as a risk. But you're going to. Um, it's going to be that real that time thing. You might not be going out to the club with friends and family, right. or friends and you know stuff like that. You're going to have to be the one digging in to your business and focusing. You have to miss a couple parties. You have to miss a couple things this year so that you can be great next year. You know, that time, you know, saving some money, miss a trip to wherever uh, with your friends yeah. to go ahead and um, sacrifice to be better mm -hmm. with your business. So those are some, I call them more sacrifices okay. than risks, especially at 18. The world is, you know, yeah. is yours. Like this, that's the best time to take risks. Oh, yeah, you know, so it's, it's just called adventure. At this point, you call it's called <laughs> living. It's not really called risk at yeah. that time. A lot of people that's our age wish that they took chances yes, yeah, and took risks at 18 years old. You know, um, it is what it is. So, you know, I, I encourage you not to focus on what risks you take. It's to take all the risks. These questions came in via your mom. So that means you already got a support system that a lot of people don't have. Yeah. So you will be able to take some what, what other people will perceive as risk. Uh, you'll be able to take some make some sacrifices and still have somewhat of a safety net. Yes. You know, even if it's just verbal support, that's major. You know, I mean, people, entrepreneurs need that. A lot of times, entrepreneurial road is a lonely road, and so they already have somebody looking out for you and thinking about you on this trip. You 50% ahead of everybody else, a lot of people who start. So. That's right. And I love um, tying off of that. This is a shameless, not so shameless plug for You Won't Starve. If you have not purchased our copy, please do that by visiting www.jhalim.com backslash store. Pause for station identification. Um, but one of the things that I appreciate about You Won't Starve is that there are principles in there for this exact age group. And that's so important um, for us to notice that this book is multi-generational. And so baby boomers, Gen Zers, and millennials, we're talking to you specifically but if you're not in those age groups and you're starting at wanting to start a business then guess what this book is for you as well so I'm so happy to hear to know that she submitted these questions to know that she's in our target market um, and I'm even happy that she's thinking about risk mm -hmm. you know because most 18 year olds are thinking about partying it could be her last summer before college you, you know think it was mama talking about the risk could more have so been. Than her. mama's <laughs> like okay well who's gonna finance your ventures because <laughs> she might have taken the risk mama taking the risk like what risk am I taking to help 
baby girl uh -huh. do this thing. So we got to find out who's behind the yes. scenes with all of that. And another thing that I think is really interesting to note, I believe that she was actually taking a course in high school, too, entrepreneurship. about entrepreneurship. Cool. They're in some part of southern Georgia, so it's really cool, though, but that she still has questions. Yeah, yeah, and I'm happy yeah. that, you know, that you're able to serve as a resource. I think this is a good thing to ask questions because a lot of times in school, is there, a lot of things are theoretical. Right. You know, um, right. It's, it's not a person who's actually been in business, mm -hmm. you know, um, they're, they're just telling you because we can teach a curriculum. Yes. And that's cool. But somebody has to be able to tell you how to really, really, truly weather a storm, right. you know, who's been through a storm as a business owner. You know, we talk about right now is this we're taping this during COVID-19. And, you know, this is my third uh, crisis, mm -hmm. you know, um, I went through the 2008 through 2012 uh, Great Recession. Uh, we had a thousand year flood here in South Carolina where we located um, in 2015. That affected a lot of situations with business owners. And um, now, you know, what's, what's going on COVID-19. Each time I was a full-time entrepreneur, so I was able to survive it. So I have a lot of knowledge yes. to give a new entrepreneur yeah. on uh, risk and stick to and yes. Um, intestinal fortitude, every all those big words. You know? <laughs> um, I, I can teach you a, a thing or two about that. Yeah, that's great. That's all for me. So, yeah. Look, just that fast. You got you got a question. We answered it. Sometimes it's not going to be a question. Sometimes to me, you're going to have a question. Sometimes it's going to be something that's going on on the TV or something that's mm -hmm. happening. You know, right now there's a lot of stuff that's happening in the news um, that's affecting business owners and entrepreneurs, and I'm gonna have a take about it. And so we want to want to touch on that as well. So those type of things, just you know, stick with us, follow us um, on the YouTube page, youtube.com backslash Jhalim TV. Subscribe, click the bell so you can get the notifications, and you know, um, comment as well. Comment on there, get conversation started. Let's let's keep talking. Maybe you have a, another opinion on the same yeah. question, and you can give me your take. Yeah. I'm I'm open to that. Also, um, basically, go. And um, follow me on all my social medias. I am Jay Helene. Follow her on her social medias at Get Right with Tamika. W R I T E. Right. I said it right, right. That's right. Because <laughs> I don't be, you know, just saying her stuff and I can't make it wrong, you know. And as she just told you, my website, jhelene.com. You can find everything that my, both of my books, my merch, you know, stuff like this, like shirts, like what she got. And just some good information yeah. on there as well. So. Please go ahead and follow us and uh, keep in contact. We'll see you next time on my next tape. Peace.